I am on a roof in New Jersey and just got a bunch of skylights. Besides other job, other work we do here, the transition over the parapet wall, we also have skylights to fix. And the problem with the skylight is people like to put tar over these metal uh, that holds these glass down. They like to put the tar here and the tar cracks, dries up and cracks. Look at it. It doesn't even stick to the glass. It never sticks to the glass. It never makes a good transition there. See? It's, it's cracked. So, how do you fix this? To fix the skylight, you need to remove the tar or just close it. But that's not easy. Let me show you. So there, look, it's coming off. See that? So, First of all, preparation. Remove the tar, remove the caulking. And then, you can, all right? So that's the best thing. So I'm gonna remove all the tar. Like that. See that? Look at it. That's it. A little bit of a jump, but you have to do it. Do, uh, and then I'll show you how I repair it. Remove the tar, and then I remove the caulking and whatever they put on here. All right. So if you want to restore an old skylight like this, you really have to get at it. Removing the tar is more important. So you do all of it like that. I'll show you then how I make the repair, but that's the first thing you have to remove all this tar. All right? And then we'll get to the repair. This is another scar light you need to repair. Did you see uh, the coming, how they did it? So this is not good. All the water go in and, uh, and this is, they have a lot of problems. See, see how much dark they put over here? It is too much. It is a lot more. Louis, everybody else. Down. And this is now. Mr. Black, the doctor, and he's working. You're doing good jobs with her. Very good job. <laughs> okay. Alright, so. If you want to restore an old skylight like this, we're not really restoring it, we are making it leak proof. This is on most commercial buildings, even in Brooklyn, a lot of apartments have these uh, skylights. And uh, you remove all the tar that everybody has put on there, because tar doesn't stick to uh, uh, glass and it dries up. But so I suggest you remove these tabs. Where's my flat bar? You remove these... Uh, I'm going to explain to you how this works so you understand why I would like to remove this without breaking the glass now. So, I... Gently... There you go. So you remove this. You can see this, this was just a protection for the putty. They used putty in the old days. Let me show you. You see this white? It's plumber's putty. And uh, plumber's putty dries out like that. Now, if you want to really restore it the old-fashioned way, you can um, replace it, the glass. You take the glass off. 
and um, you can replace that putty. The putty doesn't last and I don't have time for that. I have a, a different method that I want to show you. I'm going to do this one and I'm going to do this one. Let me show you. Put the tabs up. And then I try to get this up. Oh, there comes the glass. That's why these, these things are there to, to hold the glass down, okay? Now I'm going to show you what I do. Clean this out. Okay. I take some lacquer thinners. If you really want a nice job. Alright, I'm gonna just do the section so you can see what I mean by restoring it. But uh, I'm not restoring, I'm just sealing it. I want to do a good job in sealing it so I don't have to come back and fix the leaks. Alright, so here we go. Alright, that's it. So I got the tar off. That's the main goal. And then you got the glass clean. All right, if you have one of these skylights, that's what you can do. You can even replace the broken glass by taking the measurement. And then you can put this uh, frame back if you want to. I don't, but I'm gonna show you what I do. All right, so here's what I do. Make sure. All right, so it sits in this glass, and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna use super silicone seal. Where's my tape? Now, if you wanna do a nice job, you do it this way. Let me do a nice job for you, so you understand what I mean. Tape, tape is off, just like that. Okay. Tape it off, like that. All right, one there, tape it off, like that. All right, so that's, just so you can get a nice, nice look to it. All right, so I'm going to do the section to show you. I use super silicon seal. And uh, open this can. All right. Let's see what I have here. I'm going to mix this stuff up a little bit. got gunged up a little bit. Yeah, it gets hard inside if you if, if you leave it. It doesn't have a long shelf life. So mix it up a little bit. All right, here we go. Here's what I suggest. Put this one there. And that is it. It will seal the skylight, the glass to the frame. See the metal frame? There's a metal frame there. And it will attach the glass to the metal frame. And you never have to leak again. So, let me show you. I'm gonna remove any goop there, you see there? All right. That's how you do it. And, um, there's some putty left in there. Uh, I don't scrape everything out. I'm just trying to fill this up. It's filling up nice now. 
okay? And that's how you can restore your skylight without having to spend a lot of money. It's by cleaning out, taking those uh, metal strips off that protects the putty. Okay, that's it. Okay, there you go. All right, then I do the edge here. Like so. I should have done this right there. And bring this up a little bit there. So I'm going to remove the tape from the very edge because I want to fill this with the turbo. I mean with super silicon seal right there. See there? There, right there. That's what you want to do. Fill that up and make a nice edge like that and there and then you go and you do the same on this thing okay and that's it you wait for this to cure a little bit just like a half an hour to, so it will not run you wipe it off and wipe the glass wipe the glass a little bit clean okay hey I'm getting the more I wipe the more I get on it okay here we go all right and you wait about a half an hour so the, the, the silicone will set and then you remove the tape that's how you do it. All right. I'm going to do the whole skylight. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. But um, that's the principle, how you do it. Okay? Let me do the whole skylight. So you can see the plumber's putty. Look at the plumber's putty. You can see the plumber's putty there. It's dried out. And when the wind blows or the water flows, it will flow underneath that metal strip. And then a plumber's putty is not holding at all. And that's why people put tar and caulking and everything. I think the best is to remove that metal strip. Like I did. <laughs> that metal that protected the plumber's putty. Or they call it glazing in the old days. They glaze the windows. And I just remove it. And that way I can seal it, make a proper seal there. Okay. Yep. All the prep is done. Now the easy part, the paint. So very important to prep. Very important. If you don't prep, you cannot go over tar and think it's gonna be nice. You cannot do that. You gotta Okay, let's go. Look at that. Just want to make it look nice. Okay, there you go. Look at this. Now the wind always blows when I want to do this, always. I don't know why. Show you I found some holes rust holes where the water would sit there's a lot of rust holes you see there? there's a hole there so uh, yeah, this is a good thing what I did look at the hole there I just covered it this will go into the hole but um, yeah the best thing I did was to take that metal off and uh, put silicon in here this will do the job you never have to do this again. It's done right. It's not tar. It's not a quick tar fix. It's done right. That's it. So 
this is a little rusty. I'm just painting the top. And that's it. A nice renewed skylight. This is the best. Papi, can you clean okay, it so here? Yes, I'm coming. Skylight looks much better than it was. It will not leak again. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And this is a commercial building. It's not even they need a skylight. We're just fixing it. Look at that. Looks like a new skylight. That blazing putty doesn't last. This will last. <laughs> 